Hi guys and welcome back to another VGC 2019 Sun Series Pokemon Guide and in today's guide we're going to be looking at the Pokemon Huron 1. So I did say in our last guide that that would be the last one wrapping up our Sun Series guides but back due to popular demand we've had quite a lot of people asking for guides on Kyurem and other Pokemon restricted Pokemon in the format so we will be continuing these because you guys are just amazing and the support for the channel is great and I just I always want to put content out that you guys enjoy so for that reason we are back so we'll be doing a Kyurem White, a Kyurem Black, we'll be doing a Rayquaza, we'll be doing a Dawnwings Necrozma and we will also be finishing off with a final Pokemon in Incineroar because it's the one restricted Pokemon I said um, non-restricted Pokemon I should say that we will look at because it's such a big Pokemon in this format and I think it'd be quite a good one to look at. I don't want to open these guides up to doing um, non-restricted Pokemon because I literally do not have the time to cover all of them unfortunately, sad as that makes me, um, but doing all the restricteds, they are the important Pokemon within these formats because you get two of them, they're the most powerful Pokemon in your team, they're the Pokemon you want to be building around and making use of as your centerpieces almost, so it's important to cover these and like I say time restrictions just mean I can't cover everything unfortunately, but maybe that changes in the future, maybe. So, Huron White from the X and Y, no, from Black and White, of course, Black and White, here and White, here and Black, makes sense, from the Black and White series, um, so we'll take a quick overview of Kieran White, it is an Ice a Dragon type, it's got really nice unique typing for a restricted Pokemon, it's got the ability Turbo Blaze, it takes that from Reshiram, which is really nice, um, and a base stat total of 700, phenomenal, like monstrous, uh, a HP uh, spread of 125, attack of 120, defense 90, 170 special attack, 100 special defense and 95 speed, so all in all very nice spread across the board with Kieran White, got that absolutely insane special attack stat of 170 so that's the one that you want to be you're going to really want to be taking advantage of i think with it it's got really nice defensive stats overall 125 hp 90 defense and 100 special defense give it really nice a bulk ability bulk wise and things like that and then 95 speed isn't anything to scoff at either most of your other restricteds outside the newer ones are kind of all generally in that base 90 area so it does give you the jump there and uh, we can see by its ice and dragon typing that um, it is going to be weak to fighting rock steel dragon and fairy all two times doesn't have any immunities Unfortunately, but it does resist water, grass, and electric. Some nice resists there, and then damage normally by everything else. And just so you realise that the Turbo Blaze ability is the exact same as the Reshiram, so it works like that. And um, if you haven't seen the Reshiram guide, do pop over. I'll link it in the top right-hand corner now for you guys to go to the um, the playlist for all the other guide series, and you can check those out there. So. Moving on to the sample sets. First sample set we're going to have a look at Kyurem White today. It's going to be a Life Orb set. Life Orb seems to be a very common item being played on Kyurem at the minute. We're going to go with a modest nature here. EV spread of 4 HP, 68 defense, 156 special attack, 52 special defense and 228 speed investment. And a move set of Protect Earth Power Ice Beam or Blizzard depending on if you've got support for it and we'll get to that in a minute and fusion flare which is going to be the signature move pulled across from the restaurant that Kieran White has access to and um, unfortunately with the fu fusion flare it does give it um, a fire st stab move but um, unfortunately it doesn't get stabbed because it isn't it isn't part fire unfortunately like Reshiram is so it still will be hitting very hard but you have got the stab kind of powering that up even further although that would just make Kieran White ridiculous if it did um, Basically what this this spread does, 144 speed stat that you hit with that 228 speed investment it allows you to outspeed all um, max speed, neutral nature, base 90s. So that's that's something you can um, rely on quite heavily. And um, with the, the, the special attack investment, the um, what you can get a one hit KO on something like a careful incineral with 236 HP, 236 special defense, which is quite a common spread you'll see on incineral running around the format at this point in time because it does survive that timid plus two Moonblast from Xerneas um, and with a helping hand boost with the Life Orb as well, Kieran White can pick up the KO there. In Incineroar is one of those Pokemon that probably is quite happy sitting in front of Kieran White and um, it's not really going to feel too threatened from it so just being able to catch it off guard and get rid of that big threat 
because it will just cycle intimidate it will cycle those a fake out support and things like that so being able to get rid of it especially with something like this is really kind of nice and it as i say it will catch your opponent off guard outside of that it is going to be just hitting like a truck the life or boosting that special attack and just making sure that whatever you are hitting with these attacks it will be pretty much picking up the kill most of the time that is that sample set so this is the next sample set we've got a 50 percent berry set um another common item you are seeing the moment played on Kieran White because as I mentioned in the overview of Kieran White it has got good defensive stats and uh, you can get some real good bulk out of it so with the 50% berry more likely a wiki berry and um, again going with a modest nature just to take advantage of that huge base stat special attack um, of 170 just getting the most out of that EV spread here we're going with 36 HP 188 defense 12 special attack 236 special defense and 36 speed again keeping that similar move set that we had before of protect earth power fusion flare ice beam or blizzard and i think with the coverage that you get here this is kind of going to be the staple on, on most curums you can always tech in a dragon type attack but with things like type of finny going around the other fairies i think you get more out of curum white maybe dropping the dragon type attack the earth power is such good coverage in this format and uh, fusion flare fire type attacks are always going to be good um, and then the ice beam blizzard going to be your stabbed attacks and things like that so you know you're going to be hitting ground on for big damage like a lot of things are weak to ice in this format and there aren't that many really strong ice users so um, you can take advantage of it that way and um, this set is really nice because it does survive an adamant sun steel strike from a 252 attack sogaleo that's pretty insane like 100% of the time you're taking that. It survives a timid 252 special attack Xerneas Moonblast. Again, really nice. If you can prevent the setup from Xerneas, you know you can take that at Pockyberry. It'll allow you to get an attack off. And uh, the speed stat allows you to add speed base, all base 110s after an icy win. So you haven't got very much speed investment, but you've got more bulk, so you're able to take those attacks. And if you can play Cure and White with some sort of speed control like tailwind or icy wind or electro web next to it then it can really start to to pick up momentum and start really chucking out damage and just that 50 percent berry on it means it's so difficult for your opponent to take out they miss a kill on it and then take a chunk of damage in return and then you get your speed control off the same turn you're looking in a really nice spot going into turn two or turn three or four whatever you know you get what i mean so that is the 50 percent berry set one i really do like and one i would like to test out so if you guys do test that out let me know in the comment section down below right next sample set we're going to look at another very common item you're going to see in cure and white just because it's just makes a lot of sense uh, is the choice spec set um again we're going to go with timid nature here again i say with this time we're going with the timid nature just to make sure that we are getting the most out of that speed stat uh a really straightforward like does what it says on the box uh, ev spread 4 hp 252 special attack 252 speed not messing around here we just want to make sure that we are faster than the majority of things on the field and that we're going to be hitting for as hard as we can with that choice specs or also boosting that special attack stat um, with all those ev investment in there and um, move set here can be interchanged i've uh, i've went for blizzard ice beam icy wind is even an option there earth power you definitely want i think fusion flare again definitely won't and then i've put draco meteor on here as well because draco meteor with the specs can just absolutely just destroy so many things so many things in this format so it's a big nuke it's got the stab there um and it gives you a nice option maybe you know if you play draco meteor you've just got to be mindful that you will be taking drops so if you're able to switch it out and then maybe get it back in again um to get another Draco Meteor off or utilize something else, then it's going to be very handy. Um, this set, I would say, definitely needs a lot of support. You need uh, support against, like, for speed control for one, uh, because your opponent will be probably looking at utilizing their own speed control to get around this thing to avoid these big attacks. And if they can do that, then it makes it a lot easier to deal with. Whereas if you're putting on the momentum on your side of the field, matching speed control or denying opposing speed control, um, then then Curum can just punch punch through teams and I mean it will punch through teams especially with that choice specs it'll be hitting like an absolute monster truck so next sample set is going to be another common set that we see 
um, played on Kirima, or common item I should say, which is going to be the choice scarf set. Um, here I think you don't need to go um, max speed, not timid nature, I think you've got enough speed with the choice scarf to go modest and just maximise those special attack stats because you want to be getting the most out of the hits when you're outspeeding things, you want to be hitting them a lot harder than they would have expected to be hitting and uh, you, you don't need to worry too much about anything really outspeeding you, um, maybe modest max speed tap lele is something you need to worry about but other than that and you can quite easily kind of detect that especially if you're playing something like Tapu Koko next to it and you can kind of read what item the opposing Tapu Lele has and that's going to be one of the more bigger threats I think that you'll probably face with this choice scarf set and um, going modest nature like I say EV spread 236 HP 252 special attack 220 speed and um, blizzard ice beam it's pretty much the exact same same move set as you would get on the spec set and you can interchange things here and there just to suit the rest of your team and like I always say in these guides it's all about catering to what your team needs so if you feel like your team maybe doesn't need the Draco meter you can always tech something else in there like Icy Wind it might be a nice extra addition to speed control for you um, and the Icy Winds are still going to be hitting hard you've got to remember that it's got like 170 special base attack and it's got stab with that so it's going to be it's going to be hitting very hard with those icy winds it's not going to be like a Cresselia icy wind we'll be actually doing damage with it um, and the speed stat here just gives you um, it just allows you to outspeed all um, neutral natured max speed base 90 so like common Kyogre and, and Groudon if they go scarfed for whatever reason and um, right that is the scarf set now we're going to move on to another sample set and it is going to be the power herb set so power herb is a item that you are maybe going to see on Kirin from now from time to time because of its signature move ice burn so ice burn is an ice type attack that does require charging but with the power herb Obviously we can do away with the charge in turn and activate and you can use that move straight away. So we went for protect, earth power, fusion flare and ice burn. You can see the kind of common trend that we've got here with the coverage on Cure and White. EV spread nature is going to be timid. EV spread is going to be 4 HP, 68 defense, 164 special attack, 52 special defense and 220 speed. This allows you to survive an adamant 252 attack. Zekrom Dragon Claw, survive the um, 252 Tapu Lele Modest Moonblast, so that's really nice as well. Outspeeds all max speed, base 90s, positive nature by one point. So if they're going, if you've got Timid Kyogre, they'll outspeed by one point. Um, and Chaos, 4 HP Xerneas with help in hand, Ice Burn, which is pretty nice. So if, if you can catch them with it, then that is super nice. Xerneas are tending to go slower and slower as well, so there's a good chance that you could outspeed some Xerneas, especially in a best of three, if you can scout that out and you know you can outspeed it with Kyurem, you can catch it before it actually gets the boost and uh, just drop a big helping hand. Ice burn onto it and get rid of it before it can do anything, so that's pretty nice. And that's just to kind of show you as well, it's not like I would like really advocate using this as an answer to Xerneas. I'm giving you this as an example a, an example of how powerful this is. Xerneas is not weak to ice type attacks. It's a very bulky Pokemon. For you to be able to pick up a KO onto it with this this neutral attack, um it just kind of shows how powerful it is. So it is a big attack, big dangerous one. I don't know if I really like the idea of the power herb set. I think it's a little bit gimmicky if I'm completely honest. Um, because it's like a one, it's like almost like a Z move, and after that, if you want to use Ice Burn again, it's going to be very difficult because you you really need a lot of room to to have the charge and then get the move off, and it's very predictable, and your opponent can just protect on it. So you, it's like after that first turn of using it, I don't know if it's it's really worth kind of using over another item choice. Uh, it's not massively consistent, but. It is something that has been used, it is something that I thought is worth mentioning in these sample sets, so I will just throw that out there. So, let's move on to partners. So, first partner we're going to look at for Cure and White is going to be a Bomber Snow. It has the ability Snow Warning, brings the hail to the field for five turns. And we've got the uh, the typing Grass without the double S, so it's a weird Grass. Uh, ice type, um, obviously it provides hail support for 
those 100% accurate blizzards that Kieran can throw out. And you can double blizzard with these two, which is really nice. So freeze is a thing, and the more you throw out blizzards, the better chance you got a freeze in something. Um, both complement each other with, with their speed tiers. Uh, Abomber Snow can be very slow, Kieran can be very fast. Both operate in Trick Room if you want, like both operate in Tailwind if you want. And a bomber snow can work in trick room if that is a thing for your opponent um, to, to kind of get around Kurem's speedy nature. Um, grass hyping is also just extremely good for covering what Kurem White can't really touch. A lot of bulky water types are going to be able to sit in front of Kurem pretty easily. Uh, you just haven't got the attacks to, um, to damage them as well as you would maybe like to, whereas a bomber snow with that stab grass type is going to be able to um, really deal with them pretty easy. So there is a bomber snow. The next partner is going to be a good old combination from my good friend Baz Anderson. So Barry, you will all know, has really kind of made this combination his own. He made a team in 2016, which I hope you've all seen and are aware of, and he's kind of Recreated in this format already with the Kieran White, the Sableye, and the Groudon. It's a very strong core, very, very disruptive, very dangerous, and uh, something that you really need to be aware of. And Sableye does act as an extremely good partner for Kieran. It has the Prankster ability, it is a Dark Ghost typing, um, and it has all of the below gravity support to make those blizzards 100% accurate. It has Fake Out support to allow Kieran to get those attacks off seamlessly unaffected by attacks and, and techs and all that sort of thing. It has will o -Wisp support as well if you want to go down that route to burn opposing threats that can really cause Kieran White a lot of issues and uh, it also has access to weather support as well as long as um, a, a list as long as my arm like Quash and things like that that really all help support Kieran White. All in all Sableye is a very very strong partner for Kieran White so it's something if I was building around Kieran White it's all something I would look at and uh, as I mentioned Barry has kind of made this his own and uh, for good reason he's had a lot of success with it and a lot of other players have had a lot of success with it as well so there is that and um, we will move on to our next partner this is a partnership i really like and it's Aegis slash Aegis slash has the ability stance change is a steel ghost type and for obvious reasons this deal typing complements the fairy weakness from cure and white and um, it has wide guard support which can be really helpful as well against so many spread attacks in this format. It's got excellent defense synergy between the two. Uh, you've got to remember that Kieran White, don't fall into the trap like I've done many times throughout this guide thinking that Kieran is um, a fire type because it's got half of Reshiram inside it. It does not, it is Dragon Ice. Do not get fooled by the look. Um, so the Dragon and Ice, although there is the fire weakness there. If you take that fire weakness out, you could even throw something like Kyogre on your team to alleviate that fire weakness. Aside from that, they both complement each other very nicely. Um, and again, a bit like the Abomber Snow, their speed tiers kind of complement each other. One is very suited to working in fast modes and one is suited to working in slow modes. And they both can be catered to work in between and in both so and um, very very nice options between the two and i do i do like Aegis slash in this format we don't see it very much at the moment but i do think it is gonna make an appearance at some point or at least i hope it will next partner is gonna be clefairy the little pink blob it's so cute there but it is a very good partner again for kieran white with that ability friend guard it's got the fairy typing follow me support is just outstanding for Kurum, you know, it can pull in all of those attacks that threaten it and Kurum doesn't need, the, the beauty with Kurum is because it hits so hard, it doesn't need that many turns to get rid of opposing Pokemon, so with that redirection the follow me support, it does really allow it to kind of operate as you want it to. Uh, you've got friend guard support to bolster those defenses, heal pulse support as well to heal its health back up if it does get hit. You've got speed control options there with Clefairy and Icy Wind and uh, as we said already the Fairy typing really complementary for the Dragon typing with Kyurem. If Kyurem is in any trouble you've got Clefairy in the back it's always a nice switch into any um, opposing Dragon type threats that might be coming out onto you. Next partner is going to be Serena. So Serena, the grass type with the Quinley Manchester ability. Its priority protection is just 
amazing support for curium variants you know you don't want to be getting faked out you want to have that seamless if you're playing the scarf variant you want to be able to just get those attacks off start throwing damage out punching holes through your opposing team and serena really yeah, helps you out doing that it has help and hand support as well to help bolster and boost those attacks it has faint support to get around protects and things like that that could be a maybe a bit awkward while your opponent's trying to salvage a decent board position against this threat and uh, it does give you really nice coverage again like the Obama Snow against um, the water types of Curum does struggle to hit and um, get rid of so partners next one stack attacker so stack attacker a bit like the Aegis slash is going to be very complimentary beast boost ability steel rock typing again it has that wide guard support to uh, help out cure and white helps against dazzling gleam rock slides all sorts of things uh, trick room mode to complement the fast amount of curum so you've got a very fast mode in curum in your team you might want to have something that helps you against trick room or you might want to have a trick room mode yourself so stack attacker in this case does give you that it's a defensive switch for rock attacks which is pretty nice and curum offers that offensive coverage to the ground type weakness that stack attacker has there is the big weakness between both of them for fighting types but again you've got four Pokemon left to, to, to flesh out your team with that can deal with that fighting type weakness so it's not like it's going to be a huge problem you've got to be aware of it but it's something that you can really tech for um, and then the, the steel type is complementary for fairy for the fairy weakness obviously stack attack is an amazing fairy check so what better Pokemon to put next to Kira who hates facing down against fairies and um, I think that might wrap it up. So we're just going to wrap the whole video up here with the Cure and White Threats and Counter Table. So obviously the big one is going to be Steel Types because of its Ice and its Dragon Type and it is going to be weak to Steel Types. Just to name a few that will cause Cure and quite a lot of problems. There is Cartana. It is going to outspeed it unfortunately if you're not running the Scarf variant. The thing is, Curum though is bulky enough to kind of handle Cartana to a certain extent, but you've got to respect Cartana at the same time. You've got Fusion Flare, you have got Ice type attacks that will be able to like cut through those paper thin defenses. No puns intended there. Um, but you still, like I say, have to respect Cartana. It can hit extremely hard, and if you're in a really awkward position, you haven't got full health or something like that, or you're in KO range, then Cortana can come in and uh, quickly remove you from the field. So it's something you need to be aware of. And like I say, just have a little bit of respect for, even though it's something that is maybe a little bit easier to deal with than some of these other steel types you've got, like Sogaleo, Dustman, the Cosmo, all going to be very bulky. Going to be pretty hard to deal with. You've got Fusion Flare there, but both are going to be able to take it quite comfortably, you know, they can bulk themselves out pretty pretty well so um, you've got to obviously be aware of a weakness policy on Dustman and Cosmo more than anything else um, and then the last one there stack attack is going to be always very awkward to deal with especially if it gets its trick room up and it has that gyro ball that will be just hitting and cutting through Kurum like butter like a knife through butter I like butter through something I was going to say I don't know what um okay so we've got the steel types, obviously that is a thing. We've got fairy types, Xerneas, Tapu Lele, Tapu Koko, all gonna be pretty much faster. Uh, Tapu Lele, maybe not at the speed time with it though, base stat wise, so it's still something you're gonna have to be aware of. And those attacks, moon blasts are gonna be doing a lot of damage. Xerneas gonna be huge threat, so you're gonna need to make sure you have good Xerneas, good Tapu Lele. I think Tapu Koko is the one, like you'll be able to take Dazzling Gleams pretty comfortably. And return with earth powers it can potentially pick up a KO there but it's still something a bit like Cartana that you've got ways to deal with but you still need to respect it. Dragon types are also going to be a bit of a problem especially Dialga and um, it's gonna just be neutral to the um, the ice and the dragon type attacks that are thrown onto you and it'll be able to return with big dragon type attacks itself that will be very detrimental to yourself. Palkia another thing that's gonna outspeed you potentially and uh, throw some big big nukes down on you so again you're gonna have to have ways around that protect your a little bit better from things like that naganadel is pretty much the same vein and then you've got restroom and zekrom and the other dragons that you need to be a little bit aware of and then walls and checks i've just thrown in tapu finny here because curum doesn't really get anything to hit Tapu Fini very hard and Tapu Fini is going to be a Pokemon that's going to be able to sit in front of Kyurem 
pretty safely and just be able to chip it away with Moonblast and you're not going to be able to do a lot in return so this is why I mentioned in the partner section about those grass types being quite important uh, having fairy checks as well but it's like really important to uh, helping cure and white out as well so just things to think about obviously there's a lot more threats and things that we could go through but we can only fit so many on here and this is just to give you guys an overview an idea of what you need to be aware of when you're playing cure and white um but that is gonna wrap things up there i do really like cure and white i think it's it's special attack power is just ridiculous its ability just absolutely like i've said so many times through this guide cut through teams punch holes through teams it's unbelievable it's just such a strong pokemon and uh, i uh, i you've got to have so much respect for it when you're playing it you've got to be so careful not to allow it to get carried away because if it gets one opportunity to just like chip something away on your team then it can really become too much to handle so um i hope you've enjoyed this guide I hope you go away and try out Cure and White. If you have, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this guide overall, and um, we'll wrap things up here. Like I say, I have a few more guides planned. It'll just maybe be dribs and drabs when I get time to do them, but uh, do be patient, and they will be with you all very soon. So thank you as always, guys. Do check out the other guides if you haven't seen them, and uh, we'll be back very shortly with another guide for you all in this sun series so until then guys take care of yourselves do leave a like and i will see you next time so until then goodbye